and welcome to your market update charts of interest for today wednesday the 21st of december mike smith senior analyst at gold markets to take you around what's happening in markets today let's have a look at what's come across the news of course u.s markets overnight snapped a four-day losing streak but that wasn't the whole story of yesterday the bank of japan treasury intervention sent instruments across the board into massive volatility particularly the yen crosses but all instruments including indices were all over the place for a number of hours but the u.s markets managed to uh, stabilize things and ended up in positive territory as we said u.s futures are positive in early asian trading and asian indices are following that positive u.s lead after the late afternoon shock yesterday the news came across before asian markets should and so we saw significant sell-offs at that stage across the board asx is recovering and is up around about one percent to start the day and european equity futures are also pointing to a positive open at this stage this afternoon the us dollar index did drop on the back of that yen strength and is testing support at six month lows commodities are still essentially range bound but now towards the top of the ranges gold is back over 1800 and near resistance at 1825 copper bounced off that 380 support oil is near neutral and still in a range and the vix dropped also bitcoin remained below 17,000, but did recover some of the losses that it sustained during the afternoon and remains precarious should we say in terms of its long-term prognosis Today on the data front, we've got German consumer confidence, Canadian inflation data and US housing numbers out later. Of course, investor eyes are still focused on that PCE number on Thursday and Friday out of the US and of course, weekly jobs tomorrow as well. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that are catching our eye today. Of course, we can't go much further than looking at one of the yen crosses. Makes sense to have a look perhaps at the Aussie yen. You can see there that massive drop yesterday. If we just put it on a 30 minute chart, you'll see the damage that was created almost immediately. And subsequently, of course, we've had this interesting move higher after it hit its low around about the start of the US session. In terms of where this sits for long term support, it makes sense to keep an eye on this level around about 88.20, which is testing at the moment. A move above that could be very positive if we are going to get some recovery. See us up to 89 pretty quickly. But there may be still some volatility in those yen crosses. On the ASX, we are looking at Orica. You can see that push today up against the resistance, which we last tested significantly in August around this 1570 level. Uh, we see plenty of upside in this if we break back into this range that we we're trading in between march and july we could see this up around about 17 dollars in the medium term but worthwhile being patient seeing where this ends up and seeing if we do get an actual break towards the back end of the session